Hello guys, 4 I Guy here, and this is a tutorial on how to chart your own custom songs. So you will need an audio track, you will need feedback, you will need audacity, um, Guitar Hero 3 control panel to put it in the game, and obviously Guitar Hero 3. AR BPM is optional and it can help you find the BPM of a song that you are using. So what you first want to do open up audacity and once once audacity is open you want to put your audio track in here and what we're going to be doing is generating three seconds of silence before the song begins so it's easier for charting and for practice mode and stuff because otherwise practice mode won't line up with the audio at all. So you want to go up here, hit generate, silence, and you can change this, but I usually just leave it at three seconds. Hit OK, and it'll do that. It'll generate three seconds before the song. And now go to File, Export Audio, and now what we want to do, we want to go to Feedback, Songs, and then just save it anywhere in here. But I already have a folder for Seamus. And I usually put three seconds after the name. So I know that it's the one with the three second delay. So, yeah. Save that. It'll take a little bit. And now. <coughs> Now once that is, no actually, I'll teach you how to use ARBPM right now. So once you open it up, it is this little bar thing. And basically when you play a song, you want to hit any of your alphabetical keys to the beat of that song. And it'll give you a baseline of uh, BPM. It won't be exact, but it's better than nothing. I'm just going to close out of it for now. So now we have our audio saved in feedback. And we have a baseline BPM for it. So now we want to open up feedback and run it. And if it doesn't open, right click, go to troubleshoot compatibility. Then it will detect issues, and you'll have to run it on a Windows XP or Windows Vista. But it's going to take a while for it to do that, so I'm not going to do that. So open up Feedback, and use the Escape key to open up menus, and the arrow keys to navigate, and Enter to select. So arrow up to New Chart, hit Enter. Go find the audio that you just put in here. Um, here it is. Right here. And then you can correct any errors in the title or artist. Shameless. Hit enter to confirm a change. And once everything on this screen is accurate. <coughs> You can hit escape and escape again and they'll bring you back to here. So basically you can hit the space bar to play, up and down to go through time, left and right to change the step, plus and minus are to change the BPM, and if you hold shift while pressing plus or minus you can change it to the tenths place. If you hold control to the hundredth place, and if you hold shift and control to the thousandth place. <laughs> thousandth. Thousandth place. Yeah. And then you can hit um, forward slash to change how fast the song goes to make it more accurate. M is a, metro a metronome to beat to the BPM that it is. So like this. 
and the thicker white bars are the higher pitch ones. N. N when you click it, it'll show up as a C, but that just makes it clap whenever you have a note. Like if I did this. If I did that, it would clap. Just like that. To make it as accurate as you can. And there's a lot more things. If you go to show help, these are all the all the different things you can do. You can copy and paste. Um, oh yeah, I should probably say star power. Like when you get done. If you get done with the song. If you get done with the song, star power, you have to hold 8. And then go over a section of notes that you want to have star power. Um, if you press R, that's how you make sections for practice mode. Um, yeah, so the first thing you want to do when you get it in here is you want to make the thickest white bar right here. You want to make that line up with the first note of the guitar track. So, I'm going to find where the first note is. Or like the first, first major note, I guess. Not major, but I don't know. Like the pick slide here. There, it just lined up perfectly. But I just ignored that pick slide because that's not part of the main song. And now once that lines up, you can change the BPM to make it match the song. I honestly have no idea what this BPM is. I'll try 100. Too fast. Still too fast. to slow. So yeah, basically you just line up the BPM and you can chart you can start charting. And uh when you're charting you might get through most of the song and then all of a sudden the BPM isn't like lined up very well. You can just go to whatever you want and just hit plus or minus, change the BPM from then on, and make it work. So, I'll show you an example of one of my charts. Um, whoops. I'll do the scarecrow. So there's a three second delay that I did in Audacity. And now, um, the chart actually starts, and it's going to clap, and it's going to play a metronome to the notes. Well, the metronome is to the actual beat, but the clapping is to the notes. And right there, I sped it up a little, because it was getting a little bit off. And Basically, you just want to make the BPM line up as best as possible. And if you want to copy and paste, you hold shift. You hold shift and go forward. And you see that red area? That's like if you highlight something. And then you can hit control C to copy and control V to paste. Just the standard uh, copy and paste hotkeys. So. Yeah. I forgot to mention this, but when you're done with a chart or when you just want to make sure it's saved, you can hit the S button. And I'll do that. I'll make noise, and that's how you know you saved. You can also hit escape and go down to save chart and hit enter. So, yeah. 
we didn't use um, Guitar Hero 3 control panel in this, but I have a tutorial for that already, so yeah. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped, and it was kind of rushed, I guess, but better than nothing.